前はもう死んでいる Hey, what's going on, guys? It's Trevor Place here, back again with Pokemon card opening. We are here with the tag All Stars set here. Um, and I just want to say, obviously, this is the first tag All Stars uh, opening I'm doing. Um, and what what's a good way to start off the new year with a new set on this channel? Um, and for me itself. Um, so if you guys did see my first video of 2020, literally posted on January 1st, um, it talked about some of the upcoming videos and this is one of them talking about some more Pokemon card openings and stuff like that. So for the next couple of weeks, um, I will be doing Pokemon card openings. Um, one is that way, um, they're not just sitting here. Um, for a while and two because well one like week will be full of hidden fates and one is the Galar collection which sure they're not really the sword and shield cards yet but I will be opening up some sword and shield uh, cards um, later on um, but we are going to be getting into the tag all stars here so if you guys end up do liking this um, video and want to see more um, I will try every once in a while to get a tag all-stars box and um, open it and see what's inside because um, if you guys don't know what tag all-stars is is um, tag all-stars is a Sun and Moon uh, set cards but they grab like a lot of uh, different cards and stuff like that and then in each pack there is at least one good card in each pack so that's really cool um and um i don't really have like specific like just like normal sleeves um so when i start opening these i guess i'll get like maybe my like hidden fates or whatever because uh i'll use my hidden fleet uh fates uh sleeves or something like that or i might get um one of my binder pages um over there and use a binder page I don't know um, I might do the binder page because since this is a different set um, so I might do that um, although with the binder page it is uh, nine slots and then on the back as well so technically 18 slots um, and I think there's like 10 10 or so packs in here uh, or 11 yeah 11 there we go it says right here it says um, 11 right there so there are 11 packs in here um so i'll probably be able to fill up the pa uh, page or whatever so um let's stop talking i guess and get right into opening uh this up and stuff like that so see you guys in a little bit all right guys and we are back and here is the opened box it was you know closed down like this um so there's that, and it looks like this first pack has a little, it's not going like that. So, we will get these packs out here, and as I'm aware, there's not really um, any good card trick for this. Um, so, there is that. Um, if anything, I might end up keeping, um, or yeah, I'll be sleeving them up in a binder sleeve here. Um, or uh, I might get the Hidden Fates uh, single sleeves and might put them back in this box. I don't know. I'm going to put this box off to the side. Um, so we have 11 packs here. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put one, maybe, let me see. Let me try to fan these out a little bit. So that way I know I'm choosing one maybe out of each or all of here so one two one one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven there should be eleven here so there might be one that's stuck somewhere all right so i'm gonna go with this one i'm gonna put this one off to the side and that will be the one we open up last 
So here we go with these. Um, and you know, sometimes that I'm not really good at opening up packs, but we, we'll we'll find out here um, in a second. This is probably a little loud, so what I'm going to end up doing is to lessen it being so loud. I'm going to use some scissors here and opening up just the top, so that way uh, we're not. It doesn't take me too long to try to open up these packs here. And also that way it's not so noisy um, trying to uh, opening up the packs and all that um, for you guys. So here we go. So as you can see guys, these are in Japanese. Um, here, let me try to... Here, let me, let me try to focus this a little bit. Oh. for how far away this is um, but all right so we have a Blitzel, a Eevee, um, a Steeny, a Netball, Colorless Energy, we have a Mina, we have a Reverse Hollow Marshadow, I'm pretty sure that's what that is, um, and we have a another reverse holo or holo uh, Raikou and we have a Zo 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 Zora uh, I'm, I'm I get this one confused all the time um, but this is one of the new Pokemons that I think is pretty cool and probably one of my favorites um, yeah, so I'll put that right there and then we have a Trico and a reverse holo psychic energy well actually I don't think it's it's not really. No, no, it might, might be. Might be. I don't know. Alright, so. I guess what I'll do here is. Let me move some of this stuff out the way. And I guess I can put the sleeve on here. And then I will later go through all of these and pick out the ones that are uh, a little bit on the side here for us. And I will place this right here uh, so that way we can see what's going on here. Alright, so let's move on to our next pack. Okay, so here we go. We have... We have a Natu. We have a Squirtle, we have a Meltan, we have a Giovanni's Exile, we have a Malamar, we have a... <laughs> so yeah, there are some that I won't know, uh, like this one. Uh, so, that, oh, here's our Mew, here's a Mew card, woo! And we have a, um, Kirim. And we have a. Hold on, let me look at this. Oh, yeah, this is uh, Necrozma, Ultra Necrozma. So that's pretty cool. GX, that, that's pretty cool. And then we have a Dark and a. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what that is. So, like I said, there are a few cards that I won't know. Um, one, because they're in Japanese, and two, because I've never seen these cards before. So, there's there's that. Um, so, let's sleeve up this Necrozma here. There we go. Boom. There we go. Two packs down, and we're already getting something good which like I said in this pack there is always one good card uh, so that's why this is a really good set so if you guys uh, want to get these packs for yourselves um, you can pretty much find them on uh, Amazon if you want or uh, um, 
Well, that's where I got mine. So, I would say probably Amazon's your best bet here. And also, I didn't really show you guys, but these are the back of the cards. So this is what the back of the card looks like uh, with this set, which is pretty cool. So, uh, let's get on with our, our thing. So we got a Meowth with some substitute dolls. We have a Alolan Vulpix. We have a uh, Alolan Diglett. We have a Hexagon thingy. I don't know what it is. Um, I probably should have looked up these cards, uh, this set, and what these cards are, so that way I could tell you guys, but, yep, not really sure what these are. So we got a stamp, um, we have this guy, I'm trying to remember who he is, um, I know he's from, you know, obviously he's from Pokemon, but, like, I'm trying to remember from what, um, but, there's that guy, and then we have a Zork. We have a Volcanion. We have a... Oh, wait a minute. Wait. Are you serious? And then we have a Poipol and a Fighting. But are you serious right now? Are you serious? This is... A Hyper Rare Deoxys and Espeon card. Oh my god. This is amazing. This is my first hyper rare card. So this is yeah, this is definitely getting getting sleeved up here. But yeah, this is this is my first hyper rare. Oh my god, that's cool. So yeah, like I said, with these other cards I will get the other like uh hollow like these 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 ones right here the shiny these shiny ones here I'll get those and sleeve those up as well um so yeah that's that okay this is this is pretty cool this this is cool three packs in and we already got a hyper rare okay so let's, let's keep going all right next we have a Pidgey we have a Poiple GX, or not GX, we have a Poiple Ultra Beast. We have a uh, Vaporeon. We have a Tapu Fini, I think. Uh, we have. Oh, what was her name? What was her name? She was from the Diancy movie. I forgot what her name is. Uh, but we have her. We have Red. We have an Absol. We have a Stakataka. Ultra Beast, and we have a Greninja and Zoark tag team. Are you serious? Okay, so if you guys didn't know, Greninja is literally one of my favorite Pokemon, like ever, <laughs> possibly my favorite Pokemon. And this is pretty cool. And then we have a uh, Electric and a Shuckle. So put those down. But this is pretty cool. That's pretty cool. So I'm probably going to be looking at these cards uh, after um, after this uh, recording. But this is this is amazing. I knew that there was going to be a good card in each pack because I have seen some people opening up tag all stars. But the fact that we are already four packs in and I already have a hyper rare right here, like that's that's just amazing. That's pretty cool. Um, and I'm pretty sure I'm probably one of the first people to use a freaking binder sleeve page uh, in a recording. But it's cool because once they're in here, you guys can see all the cards and it's not like all over the place. And then when we get to filling up this page here, I will then flip it over and then we will uh, start placing in the rest of these. Um, so hopefully I will have a full... Uh, one here, but let's move on to our fifth pack and see what's going on here. Right, we're getting into the more sun and moon ish uh, Pokemon. So we have this is the second evolution after uh, Picky Peck, and I think his name is Trumbeak, and then we have Two Cannon. So Yes, this is a Trumbeak. Yes, I was trying to remember because it's been a while and I'm still pretty much watching Sun and Moon. So, uh, yeah. Um, we have a Bound Sweet. We have a Stunfisk. 
we have a hmm, focus sash or black belt whatever uh, we have a pokedex um, trying to remember which gin pokedex this is but uh, that's definitely a pokedex I'm pretty sure but it looks like a computer so I might be wrong well but it's three it's 3.0 so it's probably a computer uh, we have a lightning. I don't. Pff, I don't know what this is. <laughs> uh, we have a. Ooh, this is an Articuno. That's pretty cool. And a Garatina. That's pretty cool. I like both of these Pokemon, so that's pretty cool to get. And we have a Pikachu and Zekrom tag team. This is a card that a lot of people uh, have pulled. Um, but it, it's still a good looking card um, I like it and it's it, it's pretty cool because it's one of these uh, three sets so as you see we have Pikachu and Zekrom Reshiram and Charizard and Mew and Mewtwo so if you look at it I just pulled one of the tag team sets that are advertised for this so that's pretty cool um, so let me move these out the way let me move these cards out the way. There we go. Um, and let me sleeve up this card right here. Bam! So that's pretty cool. I mean, like I said, it, this it, it's guaranteed. You're guaranteed a uh, good card, like a GX card or a tag team card, in each set. So the fact that you know. I'm cool with this. This is it, it's cool that you get a good pool like every time. So if you guys do like this video, please hit that thumbs up button. And uh yeah, well see, I might end up getting more of these. I know that I've said that for Hidden Fates and Cosmic Eclipse. It's been a while since I've done Cosmic Eclipse, so I might bring those back uh as well in 2020. Um I feel like I might be turning more into a Pokemon card opening channel than an anime channel, but I'm kind of okay with that in a way because yes, I do like Pokemon um, and stuff like that. I know there's a lot of people that like Pokemon uh, and Pokemon card openings, so I mean, I I'm all for it if that's what you guys want, um, but I will still try to do some other videos as well so that way I'm not like getting burnt out on doing Pokemon card openings which I mean I'm not because it's pretty cool to get some good pulls but if we do tag all stars then I'm gonna get a pull every time um, but it's cool to see if I get any new ones or stuff like that so that, that's pretty cool um, so we'll see in the near future uh, in 2020 because it's a new year and it might be a new uh, New year, new channel. Not really. No, I'm not going to do another channel. Um, but new uh, revamps and up upping of the channel and videos and stuff like that, hopefully. Um, but we have a Shuckle. We have a Toracat. We have a Porygon 2. Yeah. We have a Professor Elm with Cinequil, Chikorita, and Totodile, which is pretty cool. Um, we have... I have no idea what this is, but we have that. We have a rock. We have a Magnazon. We have a spirit tool. And we have the legendary bird tree. <laughs> Alright, this is cool. So I haven't I don't think I've pulled this card yet. Um for Hidden Fates uh or Cosmic Eclipse. Um but uh this is pretty cool. So I have the Japanese card for it, um, and it looks pretty good. I like it. And then we have a, oh, this is a reverse hollow secret, I think it's a secret rare. Uh, and we have a Vulpix. Here, let, me, let me put that down there and let me look at this card. Yes, we have a secret rare. So if you look at these, um, a secret rare energy card. So if you look at these energy cards and you see this little design right here and design right here around it and then if you look at the uh, energy card that we pulled before you see the difference here so there's a secret rare set of energy cards that look like this um, so 
that is also another thing you would kind of want to get um, while getting this set. Uh, so you would want to get some secret rares and the energy cards are one of them. So there's that. Uh, but like I said, I will go through all of these cards again after the recording and sleeve up the other um, these cards and these shiny cards here. So. Well, you know, they're not shiny, but you, you get the you get the idea. Um, so here is the legendary birds. Sleep those up. Bam. And then we are getting into Okay, so maybe there are ten packs in here. I think there's supposed to be eleven. But we're already six in and we have three more right here. So I guess there are 10 packs in here when there's supposed to be 11, I think. Because the box, there's supposed to be 11, I'm pretty sure. But, oh well, that's that's fine. Well, we'll, fi <laughs> we'll figure it out here. Um, so let's get on with our 7th pack. Okay. We have an Esper. I'm pretty sure that's an Esper. It's way, some of the Pokemon, I'm, I'm going to be honest, I probably won't remember. Uh, then we have a Jolteon, we have a Trico, we have a Bike, we have a Ninetales, we have a Web Shooter <laughs> Gun, uh, we have a Zora again, this one right here, uh, but it is a uh, Reverse Hollow, I think card or a hollow card I don't I'm not sure which one's the difference between these and a Blastoise and we have a Marsh Shadow and a uh, Machamp tag team card so that's pretty cool and then we have a reverse hollow and a er, a energy card and a Erica's hospitality card um, so here is the Machamp and Marsh Shadow um, card right here so it is kind of getting out of focus but that's because my thing is focused down to here um, so there is that but it's pretty cool I'm loving all these pools I mean it's pretty obvious though uh, but that, that is okay um, getting these pools is still exciting and stuff like that because I haven't pulled these yet um, in Hidden Fates or Cosmic Eclipse so the fact that I'm getting a full like new set um, or yeah pretty much a full set of good cards um, that, that's pretty cool so let's move on to our eighth pack all right we have a Cottony we have a Glammeow we have a Skiploom no we have a Hoppip we have a stone hearth. I'm pretty sure this is what this called. This is what it. Th this is what it's called. Uh, stone hearth. Uh, we have a salazzle. We have a metal thingy. I don't know. Uh, we have what is this Pokemon? Oh, it's a Yveltal. We have a Yveltal and a Zapdos and we have a I think this is Zerka no this ain't this is not Zerka Tree um which, I'm sorry guys I know which Pokemon this is or Ultra Beast and then we have a stack attack over there um but yeah I know I know which one this is but it's not coming out I think this is Zerka Tree no it's not Zerka Tree um it's uh God, I'm gonna feel stupid. Um, I forget it. I'm not even. I'm not even gonna attempt. But you guys can leave comments down below on what it is because, yeah, I'm not. <laughs> um, it's been a long. It's been a long. It's been a long day. Um, so, all right. Here is our ninth pack. And here is our last pack over here. So hopefully we, I mean, obviously we're going to get something good. But um, I just realized that um, we haven't gotten a Prism card yet. So the Prism card could be in any one of these. 
because um, in this set there's a, a thing called a prism card and it's like one of the, I wouldn't say it's one of the rare things because it is in one of these packs um, in each set so there's that but I, I, I don't know but we'll, we'll find out uh, here in a second um, so let's get on with our ninth pack here what we got all right so we got a Inke we have a Pidgeotto we have a Litten we have a probably a Cherish Ball I'm not quite sure it, it's different actually I don't think it is the Cherish Ball it's kind of different from the Cherish Ball because the Cherish Ball is red but I don't think it looks like that so let me know we have um, Bryson Man and uh, I forgot what her name is but that's what that is um, we have a Parasect we have a Weavile pretty cool we have oh here's our prism card it is a shaman that's pretty cool and then we have a wishy-washy GX and we have our energy and stuff like that so we actually got two pools in here um, with the prism card being one of them uh, so there's the wishy-washy so what I'll do is I'll sleeve up the wishy-washy right here and the prism card will go so we have all Pokemon on this side and then we have the Prism card on the other side. But yes, the Prism card looks like this. Uh, it's very shiny, very shiny, and it has this symbol here. Um, so let me look at it real quick. That's pretty cool. This is a pretty cool card. And also Shaman is one of my favorite Pokemon too. Uh, just because of how it has two different forms um, so that's one of the cool things about them uh, that I like so there's that and now I guess it's time to flip over the page and now we get to see the back of the cards and then we have to sleeve up our prism card Boop. there we go and now on to our last pack over here so hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video and if you did please hit that thumbs up button leave some comments down below um, on what you guys thought of this and if you want me to open up more of these um, and I will possibly do that um, and all that but let's get on with our last pack here and actually I think I might be able to do a card trick I'm not sure because with how this has been going the last like couple of uh, cards have been um, you know here and stuff so maybe if I can do two two to the front maybe and we'll see but um, if it spoils us then oh well but I just wanted to see if there is possibly a card trick um, so we'll, we'll see here in a second but bam okay so here is our metal energy card so so far looks pretty good so there might be one yet okay so if we open up another tag all-star set in the near future we can do two from the back possibly um, and all that so we have a Sini, we have a picky peck we have a Tyro we have a Paris we have this guy again we have this thing an edge sketch probably I don't know uh, a Mimikyu we have a ooh a Jirachi that's pretty cool and we have a Serena as well and finally our last card of the day is boom a Trevenant and a Dust Noir GX tag team uh, that is pretty cool it's pretty cool so this is our last Pokemon or po pool pool of the day <clears throat> um, and all that so now that I have well a sleeve um, not much room left though because I will probably end up putting some of these cards in here maybe or I might keep this and wait for the next pack of um, next pack of tag all stars to open and put place in here so let's review a little bit here um, I'm actually gonna try to um, focus it up here 
So that way I can bring these cards up here. So, and since this is a little folding thing, this is fine. So, first off we have the Shaman Prism card and our Dust Noir and Trevenant Tag Team GX right there. And then, let's flip this around. Maybe. Maybe. Let me, let me flip it this way and go like this. Okay. Then we have our uh, Zora GX, our Necrozma GX, our Hyper Rare Deoxys and Espeon, and then we have our Greninja and Zoark Tag Team GX, our Zekrom and Pikachu, our Legendary Bird Trio, so that's pretty cool. And then finally our Marshadow and Machamp, and uh, this b bomby dude, and uh, Wishy Washy. So. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this Tag All-Stars pack opening and if you did, please, like I said before, hit that thumbs up button. Let me know that you guys like this kind of, uh, kind of, uh, opening and all that and, um, uh, leave some comments if you want to see more and also, um, leave some comments on, uh, which, which card, um, from this pool, from, from this, um, that I pulled uh, was your favorite and uh, also if you're new to my channel please subscribe uh, and hit that notification bell because in the next couple of weeks I will be opening up a uh, hidden um, for the whole week uh, Monday Wednesday and Friday I will be opening up a hit, hidden fate uh, uh, series set uh, a Mewtwo and Mew pin boxes and also a giant Gyarados box as well um, so that will be coming next week, and then the week after that, I have a Galar set. If you did, guys, watch, um, my first video of 2020, um, the week after the Hidden Fates series one, we will be opening up the Galar collection series, which is the Score Bunny, Grookey, and Sobble packs. Um, although the thing is, is those aren't really the new Sword and Shield ones, but eventually there will be, uh, some Sword and Shield uh, pack openings in the near future obviously because it is 2020 and then it's time for the sword and shield Pokemon card training card game stuff so yes so like I said hopefully you guys have enjoyed and I guess I'll see you guys next week for the Hidden Fate series see you next time